Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Cannot Access Computer Error Code 0x80004005. Check the spelling of the name, otherwise there might be a problem with your network, and then it says to try and identify and resolve network problems, click Diagnose. So assuming you've clicked Diagnose and it doesn't yield any results, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Services. Best match to go back with Services right above App. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to scroll down on this list until you find TCP slash IP Net BIOS Helper. Right here. Go ahead and double click on that. Serp type, you want to click inside the drop down, set it to automatic. And then if service status is stopped, you want to click the start button and then select apply and OK. So then restart your computer and see if that has resolved your problem. Another thing we can go ahead and try would be to open up the star menu again. Type in regedit, it's so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match to go back to registry editor, right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I highly suggest you create a back above it. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file, tap up the top left, select export. Save it to your main location on your computer. Export range should be selected to all, and then as for file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is what I would recommend. And then select save, so pretty straightforward. And then if you ever need to import it back in, you should do file import. And navigate to the file location, so pretty straightforward. And then select open. So once you made your backup, you want to go expand the H key local machine subfolder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now that you've done that, you want to do the same thing now for the software folder. Now you want to find the Microsoft folder here, expand that as well. And now you want to scroll down until you find the folder that says MS Licensing. Expand that. Now there should be two folders under here, under the MS Licensing folder once you expand it. You want to right click on each folder individually, select delete, confirm the deletion, and then do that for the other folder as well. So there should be two folders under there, the hardware and the store folder, delete both of them, and then restart your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. One more thing we can try here would be to go ahead and open up the star menu, type in local security policy, best match to go back to local security policy, right click on that, and then select run as administrator. Now you want to expand the local policies folder. So go ahead and double click on that or left click a little arrow like we did in the registry. Now you just want to left click on the security options folder one time. And on the right side you want to look for something that says network security, LAN manager, authentication level. You want to go ahead and double click on that. Click inside the drop down field here. And now you want to select the send LM and NTLM. Use NTLM V2 session security if negotiated. Go ahead and select that. Once you're done with that, go ahead and just left click on OK. Once you're done with that, go ahead and select apply and OK. Restart your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.